Oh, here's a couple of questions <clears throat> that deal with quadratic kind of things or polynomial kind of things. So this first one asks you to find the zeros, state the multiplicity, and I'm going to add graph <laughs> to that. Okay, so uh, there's our function. Uh, what I need to do is factor it. Well, there's 2x squared minus 16, so I'll just write both of them out. And then this is a difference of squares, so I can make that x minus 4, x plus 4. But then this is also the exact same thing, so I can make it x minus 4, x plus 4. Okay, so that's my function. Now to solve for the zeros, I plug a zero in for f of x. Okay, and now I solve this equation. Since it's this times this times this times this equals zero, I can use the zero property. So either x minus four is zero, or x plus four is zero, or x minus four is zero, or x plus four is zero. Add four to each side, subtract four, add four, subtract four. So my zeros are, if I put them in order, minus 4, minus 4, 4, and 4. <clears throat> so my zeros are negative 4 with a multiplicity of 2 and positive 4 with a multiplicity of 2. Now if you wanted to graph that, we could. Since there's four zeros, I know it's a coordinate graph. So quartic graphs either look like this or they look like this. Since it's a positive quartic, it's going to look like that one. So I have to have that kind of shape with these zeros down here. So I have negative 4 there. Something funky happens. 1, 2, 3, 4. Something funky happens there too. So the graph's going to come down and just touch there and come back up and then come back down and touch and come back up. Now, I didn't put figure out what the y-intercept is, but you could figure out what the y-intercept simply by put, putting a zero in everywhere x is. So I could put a zero there, 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 and there. And I think if you do that, you get negative 4, four uh, um, I think 256. So the y-intercept where this crosses is 256. Okay, there's one. Uh, here's another question where you are asked to, I think, factor this. I don't know if it's a function. If it's a function, we could find the zeros of it. Uh, if it's not a function, we could try uh, to factor it. Um, <clears throat> lots of different ways to do that. Um, I'm just going to try and guess. 25, I'm betting it's 5z and 5z. I've got to get 150 out of the deal though. So things that multiply to 218, I don't know, uh, 7 won't go, 3 years, uh, 8, will 8 go? Nope. 9, nope. Uh, 5, no, 4, 4, no, 2, 2 will go. So 2 will go 104 times. No, 109 times. Boy, I don't like factoring that one. I don't think you can factor that one. 109, nothing will go in 109. Okay, I'll write, I'm not going to factor that one. I'm going to use the quadratic formula. b squared minus 4ac all over a couple of a's. So negative b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4 times a times c, all over 2a. Okay, numbers that are plugging in there, b is a negative 150, negative 150, uh, a is 25, and c is 218, and a is 25. Okay, simplifying a bit, this would be positive 150. Uh, inside here, oh, 150 squared, uh, 225 with a couple of zeros, minus, that would be 100, so it would be 218 with two zeros on it.
that right? I think so. All over 2 times 25 is 50. Okay, let's keep going. 150 plus or minus the square root of uh, 225 minus 218. Is that just 700? Uh, no, no. 15 minus 8 is 7. Yeah, 700. 700. All over 50. Simplifying a little bit more, 700 is the same thing as 100 times 7 over 50. Okay, I'm going down more. And then 150 plus or minus. A square root of 100 would be 10, root 7, all over 50. Feeling pretty good there. Now here, I can't just divide the 50 into the 150 or 10 and 50. Uh, this is a common denominator, so it belongs to this and this. So I guess one way you could do it is write it as 150 over 50 plus or minus 10 root 7 over 50. In the first case here, 50 goes into 150 three times. So 3 plus or minus uh, 10 goes into 55 times. So 3 plus or minus root 7 over 5. Make sure you don't carry that line all the way across there. It doesn't, doesn't go all the way across. Oops, it just stops right there. So that would be my answer. Now, to see where that cross is on a graph, you'd have to figure out what the decimal answer is. But if they said, what are the zeros? Here they are. Here's both of them right there. A 3 plus root 5 over 5 and a 3 minus root 7 over 5. All right, hope that helps you with those two questions.